obviously Elon is not touting this as a China internet bubble popper. That's essentially what it could be. Not aliens, not UFOs, internet providers. How do you prevent that internet from getting into China? This is like the piercing of the veil. We talked about SpaceX and Starlink. Starlink is SpaceX's satellite internet provider. So they have a bunch of these Starlink satellites which sit in low orbit and they have uh, thousands of these things now orbiting the Earth. You've probably seen <clears throat> the videos of Starlink satellites in orbit. Let me see if I can pull up a cool video here. You see that? So those are the Starlink satellite system, not aliens, not UFOs, internet providers. So cool. So, so cool. He's just doing this on the side. Oh, let's launch an internet company on the side. Okay. Great idea, Elon. And then he does it. And then he does it. That's the key part of this. So what is so interesting, though, about this is not only has Starlink launched service in the United States, um, they've already been trialing that. We've covered that on the show. SpaceX now has 1,200 Starlink satellites in orbit. And um, da, 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 da. the company is expanding the coverage for its ongoing beta test of the brand broadband internet service those satellites provide. The company originally limited the beta test to the northern tier of the continental United States, later expanding it to include southern Canada and parts of now the United Kingdom. So Starlink is now in the UK. Not only is it in the UK, it's moving to the rest of England, to Scotland and Wales, and now it's also starting in Western Germany and New Zealand with plans to expand in both countries in the coming weeks. So the thing that would be so great from all of this, not only, and, and the way they frame this internet is it's, it's, it's kind of funny. You know, they're not saying that this is a viable alternative to if you've got, you know, um, the, the piped in Internet infrastructure coming in, you know, from one of these major players. This is really for those areas where, you know, satellite like like uh, direct TV type customers, right, where they just don't have fast internet. They're in a very rural area. If you look at some of the areas that they've rolled this out, like Southern Island of New Zealand, right? These are very rural areas. The infrastructure isn't very good. They have been touting speeds of 50 to 150 megabits per second, which honestly is not that bad. Um, some in online forums, this article says some people report up to 300 megabits per second. But the point is you can have intermittent outages you know it's not always there working perfectly it could come and go because satellites uh, orbiting the earth you know stuff happens and this is still in a beta format alpha format in some of these newer countries that are coming online and we also know that starlink has been working with the department of defense unlike some of the tech monopolies that have been reticent to work with certain units within the department of defense which is not okay but we know that Elon has a very close relationship with working with the government, whether it's NASA, the Department of Energy as it relates to Tesla and other organizations. But the really cool thing from a military and just from a kind of, um, you know, U.S.-China perspective is what China has invested in so heavily, and we've covered it a bunch, is the Great Firewall, right? They have such strong infrastructure to control what comes in and what goes out, what happens inside of the country as it relates to the Internet. And now this is like the piercing of the veil. This is, you know, that spear that just goes right through all of that. You got satellites. How do you how do you prevent that Internet from getting into China? Now, you do need a receiver device. It doesn't just magically, like you have got a cell phone or you got Wi-Fi and boom, you connect to a Starlink. So there is a little bit of hardware. That's not very difficult. You know, if there's a will, there's a way kind of thing. So the bubble that is China, both from a monetary standpoint, we've talked about how China, we talk about the United States printing money. Um, we've also talked about, if you think the United States is printing money, China's printing 
probably three or four times the amount of money. We talk about China's GDP growth and their numbers, and you can't believe one iota of their data, whether it's their GDP numbers, their debt numbers, their COVID numbers, for sure can't believe those things. You just can't really believe anything that China tells you. And that also applies for people living inside of China, where everything they read is either uh, regulated, it's monitored, and we've talked about the 50 Cent Army, where they're actively creating content to convince you of a certain opinion, right, of a certain belief that it might be commonly held or allegedly commonly held. And they're literally paying millions of people. We're going to have General Spaulding on the show in a few weeks who wrote a book called Stealth War. And, and one of the things we're going to talk about is all this stuff China is doing just to influence opinion both internally and abroad. This is the perfect mechanism to pierce that, that thought police bubble, which China has invested so heavily in. Now, obviously, Elon is not touting this um, as, a, as a China internet bubble popper. That's essentially what it could be. And I, and I know that someone, either at SpaceX or in the government or both, is also thinking about how we could um, help liberate and just provide freedom of information. Pretty good thing. Harder to come by in the United States these days even. But basically impossible to come by in China. Be great if we could provide a little bit of that freedom of information elsewhere to people, not just in China, but elsewhere in other countries that would like to have a little bit of free information, free access to, you know, information that isn't constantly monitored and force fed to you. Hi, I'm Alex. Thanks for watching the show. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, but even better, make sure to follow us on Odyssey, follow us on Rumble and text us. 203-646-5159. Text the word Monopoly. You'll be subscribed. You'll get updates about when we're going live, our latest videos, and we'll send you even a little goodie bag. And in the event that we all get banned from big tech, we'll still be connected.